Africa Policy Center. You are once again welcome to UCU Focus News Bulletin, read to you by Okot Emmanuel. But first, the news headline. Trinity Semester Freshers Shunned Orientation Exercise. African Policy Center hold its first meeting in Uganda Christian University. A Gil government procured a new set of uniform to its Gil cabinet. Uganda Christian University cannot crash sharing youth basketball team in Kampala. Africa Policy Center held its first meeting in Uganda Christian University with an aim of having a generation equipped with knowledge on policy dialogue. Our reporter Joshua Metala has more on the story. If you took a policy to Katoru Wama on economic or, or money flow, whatever, do you, know, do you think he knows what he's going to read? Africa Policy Center, an initiative originally founded by the Vice Chancellor and other members of staff, this had their first meeting where they looked at having a good thinking being invested among the young generation in preparation for the future. According to the meeting, one of the aims were to change public debate as they influence policy. The Africa Policy Center is an initiative that seeks to brew a new class of thinkers, Christian thinkers on a variety of issues that engage with public policy. And so we position ourselves as a Christian think tank in the region and in the world to build a caliber of leaders. So we hope that more ideas of how this is rolled out will be sketched as we are await a formal launch in the course of the year. We are just pawns in the what? In the chess game. When they tell you there are jobs in Abu Dhabi, all Ugandans are going there. They tell you today jobs are in Congo, U Ugandans will go there. After the meeting, we approached various students and this is what they had to say. So I've learned so much about loving ourselves above anything else and so much wisdom I have amassed in this short period of time. Um, where I see this going, I see it raising leaders, I see it raising opinionated people, I see it raising policy makers, I see it raising people who will have a say in issues of governance, I see it raising people who will be able to make a difference in the world, in the country, in their municipalities, in their constituencies out there. So I see a very big mark this APC initiative is going, to, is going to bring and I think it's something which we need to embrace so much and with enthusiasm keep on going forward till we'll be able to make it. The think tank is integrated within UCU and it's going to be able to influence a lot of policy within uh, Uganda, in the region and even beyond the region. In my background there lies the Guild Boardroom where the meeting of the African Policy Center initiative has just been. They've discussed about various issues such as the next generation policy dialogue and policy execution. Joshua Mitala, reporting for UCU, Focus. Africa Policy Center is a Christian think tank. And so, as a think tank, we always consider the people for whom we serve, the people with whom we serve, and the reasons why we serve. And thinking deeply about these things makes it important for us to know and to notice that a think tank will transform lives. It is a think tank, an engine for policy analysis where the next generation policy thinkers are mentored. Uh, APC is a think tank, which means, in my mind, a uh, research institute here at Uganda Christian University that is intended to serve the church and the university and the public at large with Christian thinking and research about pressing public issues and public needs and to provide a distinct voice, which I think is a unique voice that is not heard in Uganda or Africa. It's very exciting to be a part of the project. The thought process that came through with a need that is there to respond um, with the thinking about issues that come through the country. And it is important to have thinkers who are looking into the issues that crop up one 
one time or another. And that's how APC really was born, to think about the things that the country is going through. We want to train or raise up Christians who are effective in the public square. Young people are empowered. I'm very excited for APC. I think it's something that's necessary for the university and for the Church of Uganda and maybe even the country. I'm, I'm really hoping that APC will engage directly with um, thinking about politics and policy from a Christian perspective and especially an indigenous Christian perspective in Uganda. Yeah, we have always wanted the university to be our think tank. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a more a directed and focused mm -hmm. intervention. An African Christian policy think tank, which is based within uh, Uganda. And we see this think tank beginning to shape public policy in the public square. We see this think tank beginning to transform the society. We see this think tank beginning uh, to translate uh, its research into tangible output for the community. African Policy Center is a good uh, initiative and the Church of Uganda will heavily depend on this center and the work that is done as a think tank, as a center that will be helping the church to see ahead and see what we are doing and, and, and move together. That is a very uh, timely initiative. So I want to uh, commend this Africa Center and I pray that God will bless you and the church will continue uh, to pray for you and to be partners and waiting to get uh, more informed uh, from the work that you'll be doing at the center. Uh, the Christian think tank, which is what actually the APC is, uh, is intended to generate uh, issues that have been discussed, generate papers, generate thinking that can be laid out in the public square. The, the desire to see something like this yeah. was also part of one of the things that I, we, I and many others were thinking about. So to see that uh, a team like yours has actually actualized this and is actualizing this gives a sense of fulfillment to the dreams of many. Influence should be felt in Uganda, the entire region and beyond. Africa Post Center, which is a Christian think tank, has the burden and the many themes that we have evolved and thought through to see that we are always thinking of things that are holistic. Holistic to the future of humanity and holistic to the future of creation as we have received the mandate uh, from the Creator who is our continued inspiration. Uh, as technical advisor, I'm an American who has some experience uh, with universities having taught uh, being a professor of political science and history and uh, also worked in public policy and think tanks and in government so I'm trying to combine all of those uh, bringing advice to this group uh, as well as being a uh, member of the Anglican clergy in the United States so can speak from experiences in the church so trying to combine all of those just my own life is a bit of an example of some of the things that APC is trying to do. The best way to prepare oneself for the future, for the next generation, is to prepare your mind for what is coming, the challenges, and all the things that are being thrust upon us. So uh, I believe very strongly that if the next generation is going to be relevant and is going to be able to overcome whatever challenges they are, then they need to start thinking now. They are pressing needs, and we are the voice. So the APC can enable the young people, and even the lecturers themselves, to think through what is happening around them, to influence their life, their habits, their cultures, uh, their ways of living while they are still at university, so that the moment they go out in the jobs where they are, in the places where they are, they are able now to live differently and to show that there is another paradigm to living 
other than the secularism that is being promoted out there? We call it next generation because they are the people who are going to be leading tomorrow. They are going to be opinion leaders, they are going to be uh, in the public square and they need to have the mental capacity to push a Christian world view in the public arena. They are equipped with skills that will enable them to understand and participate in public policy development. Young people must be transformed into effective agents in the public sphere. Uh, the Next Generation Policy Dialogue is um, a well-organized uh, idea that is embedded within the African Policy Center, which we know is a think tank at Uganda Christian University. The unique thing about it is that it's a think tank that is Christian-oriented and at the same time African-oriented. This is a Christian university, but secondly, we are created in God's image. And while we bring things to discuss, different issues, both secular and, and um, Christianity, must link together to develop this nation, to charter the future, to get the future of the youth, the future of the young, to be more reasonable and built on the knowledge we are creating. Otherwise, our knowledge creation will be meaningless. African Policy Centre, as we know, has already been engaging in a number of issues. We have had engagement in a number of policies in Parliament. We have had the issue of abortion. Uh, we are currently focusing on the issue of land and many other issues that are showing up. I think, so I am. Young people must learn to think strategically and take responsibility to create a future that they will be proud of. Why do you think Uganda is going the way it is going? So many people have glorified themselves. Are they blind? Are they not clever? They are! But because they have deployed him. Um, the future that I see in APC is eventually a hybrid think tank which does both academic research and also applied research for its different stakeholders. Um, as APC develops, I'm hoping that it could eventually be a, a well-known Christian think tank in East Africa, but also be able to provide directly for the communities in Uganda through its work and research. This group really has great potential and already has made a, an important start in the work that it's doing. So uh, I anticipate a, a very significant long-term future for, for APC, for its work and the impact of its work in Uganda, Africa, all around the world. It's very exciting to uh, think ahead and pray ahead as to what this might amount to even in a very few short years. It is a very bright future in terms of existence. In terms of challenge, it has a very challenging future. In terms of commitment, it needs a really, really serious commitment in the future to be able to have it sustained. And we cannot sustain it just with the generation that started it. We must create other people who are going to come on board. In the next 10, 20 and many years to come, we hope to have impact on the national dialogue, the public dialogue, such that as, as issues come up, concerning leadership, management, taxation, budgeting, whatever may come up, culture issues, the Christian voice has to be uh, accounted for. So we see APC leadership, uh, policy and catalyze change in the African The future is here. A think tank for policy analysis, Africa Policy Center. We are the future. Excellence in public policy.